let's talk about sequencers. There's this pretty amazing sequencer, uh, basically just called the step sequencer um, that you can get for free for Max for Live. It's part of a package called the Big Three. I will put a link in the description and it's a sequencer that I've used loads, but I've always felt there was something missing that I could do on my Eurorack equipment. But I'm gonna to get to that in a moment. Just gonna have a little look at the step sequencer. I'm not, this is not an in-depth tutorial, um, so it's the one down here um, and if I press play now it's going to play this little sequence you can see the notes represented by the blue and yellow um, lines here so in this case it's plays this 16 step melody um, over and over again and you can change obviously that you change the notes and you can change the velocity you can change the duration of the notes and also there is a probability function saying that if i uh, change some of these it just makes it well it's a random factor whether the note will play or not which can create a little bit of variation Anyway, let's make them all probable. And you can change the clock divisions here, how fast it is at the moment, set to every eighth note. So if I set it to every 16th note, so it's gonna be a bit quicker. There is a function also here, you can see the R. If we go to view all, then, and then you click R. Well, you don't have to view all, you can go into specific, if you just wanna use this on the notes. Let's do that, sorry. I am rambling a bit. The R stands for random. So if you click on that one, you can see the notes jumping around. You can move this around if you wanna. Actually, let's slow that down a bit. And if you're in all and click random, it randomizes everything apart from duration. So you will have to do that. You will have to go into duration and click on the R if you want to randomize that. Now, this is my problem with this sequencer. I love it. I think it's super, super versatile, but there's one thing that I don't like so much about it. And this actually goes for most of the sequencers that I've come across in Max for Live, is that it syncs strictly to the clock with these clock divisions. So it's gonna be a pretty steady beat. So if I just turn the probability up here, you can add a bit of swing to it, but that's about it. So in a Eurorack sequencer, I don't know if you've ever used Eurorack, a sequencer often takes a trigger input into it and every time it receives a trigger it moves to the next step and when it reaches the end it goes back to the beginning unless you have some random functionality so it jumps around and quite often you would do something like this like a clock or a division of a clock so you get every four quarter notes or every eighth notes or whatever it is that you want to divide it to but you are not tied into that. You can send other triggers. So for example, you can have, um, you can create your own pattern. And this is something I've also used uh, with my Roland SH-101, which has got trigger input for its sequencer. If you don't use that, the sequence sounds very static. It becomes a bit like this. But, with these sequencers in uh, Ableton uh, Max for Live, I have not been able to customize my own pattern on how this progresses. So I have modified this to allow this to happen. And I'm gonna show you how that works now. So I'm gonna turn this sequencer off, double click that we close it and double click my version, which looks almost the same. Turn that on. Now when I run this sequence, nothing is happening because it needs a trigger. You can do this manually by, I've added a trigger button here. So you can obviously press that manually in a really funky way if you want to, but uh, it takes, um, every time it receives a MIDI note in, that is when it will progress one step. 
Therefore, you can just create your own much more rhythmical sequences here. So I'm just going to make a just a little random pattern. So I'm just making some MIDI notes that comes in here. Uh, that something like that. So as you can see, like every time it comes in, a MIDI note comes in, it steps forward one step, which means that you can make another sequence which has a lot less going on. And then you can make another section which has got, you can even have mix. So that's some 32 notes, uh, can make some ruined it. This means that it plays every note. You don't use the probability to miss notes out. It plays your melody that you've set up, but you can create something much more rhythmical this way. I think this is super exciting. I'm planning to do this to some of the other sequencers, but this one is super versatile. It still allows you to do all the randomness. You can still use the probability if you want to and the other things as well, but it just allows you to create, um, quickly create melodies really, really quickly, but you can add a bit of rhythm to them rather than having to rely on the static clock. So now if we just add a bit of a beat to this, So if we switch back to the other sequencer, that's maybe had a little bit of a slightly more boring sequence. We should probably pitch that down a bit. So now to, to create a bit of a rhythm, you rely on the probability, um, which you don't necessarily always want to do. I hope you found this helpful. This sequencer, that I, my version of this sequencer, um, you will be able to download if you support me on Patreon. There will be a link in the description. Um, I hope to be, I hope to release something new every week. It's not always going to be a Max for Live device. It might be other stuff, tutorials and sounds. And please don't hesitate to get in touch if you have any questions. If you like IDM and Glitch, also check me out on Instagram. I hope you have. Uh, a good rest of your Sunday or whatever day you might be watching this.